Okay. I'm trying to boil down when they say so good. I mean, I just have around between parking, but is there a way to prevent the class? Like, did he spend his season on the hook? Oh, I mean, he's come out every day and, and competed and, and I think, uh, he has a skill set, obviously. He has an ability to, to, to high, high point and track the ball. Um, you know, he's competitive. I mean, he just he just makes plays at the end of the day. You know, different types of plays. Um, and he's really worked on, you know, a lot of things uh, over time since he's been here. Uh, and I just think it's kind of just rolling his way right now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, uh, you know, like a, a baseball player, you know what I'm saying, or a basketball player. They're, they're getting a rhythm and it just things just kind of roll your way. I think he's just in a rhythm right now and, and everything is, is kind of going his way. You guys are sort of from the same area. Um, what's the relationship like between you two, and, and you know, how has that been season? And, you know, I was great. I mean, uh, he's an 805 boy. Um, you know, his dad is from my hometown, Oxnard. His mom is from Camarillo, which is uh, you know almost the next city over. And, and uh, you know. Uh, I said it earlier in the season, kind of jokingly, but, but serious, that he's the best receiver to come out of 805, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we've always kind of uh, known as far as our staff that, you know, he was this talent and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited that he's having, you know, the season that he's having. He deserves it. He works hard. Um, he does everything right. So, um, you know, excited to see, to see him finish it the right way. As good as he is. Is the offense maybe a little too reliant on Drake at times? I wouldn't say that. I mean, anytime you got a really, really good player like that, um, you know, in any sport, you know, you, you got you to gotta feature them. And as much as they can handle, as much as uh, they can do, you know, you go, you go after it. Um, you know, obviously we want to get everybody involved. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're forcing the ball to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, the quarterbacks go through their reads and their progressions, and, and Graham does a great job of moving them around and putting them in different places. And um, he gets his touches, but um, you know, you have a you got special players. You, you try to make sure that they touch the ball. You know. Um, and again, we're excited about you know everybody in the room and, 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 and the roles that they play to kind of uh, allow it to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a collective. Uh, yeah, unit and uh, you know everybody's been doing doing a great job. How are you keeping the younger guys involved in the game when they're when they see the repetitions or happening to practice but not in the game? Yeah, I mean I think every day you come out here is an opportunity to get better. Um, um, you know we always talk about uh, just kind of being where our feet are and kind of dominating our box, whatever that is, starring in your role. Um, you know, I think we got a lot of guys and uh, that are uh, going to be really, really good players. Um, I think it's a blessing for them, and they might not even realize it now. But to play with a player like like uh, Drake and some of the older guys in the room, and you learn things from people, uh, just like Drake learned from Pittman. He'll he'll tell you he'll, he learned from Pittman. He learned from Amara. He learned from Tyler. And he kind of gets to add some of those things that he learned um, yeah, and put it into his game. I think those guys will be able to say the same thing about uh, playing with Drake and learning from Drake and coming to see him work out here every day. And uh, when they get their opportunities, they'll shine in it. I, I promise you that. How close is Kyle Ford to, to making an impact? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's going to come. You know what I mean? And I think he's, uh, he's diligent in his work. Um, I think he's committed to, to – uh, himself and this team and, and, and doing all the little things to, to make sure that he's right physically and um, you know he's 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 ready and uh, you know we look forward for that time. How different is the playbook now from when Graham first got mm, not very different to be honest. Um, there are a couple wrinkles here and there but honestly like it's a, a lot of a lot of the same things that we that we day one that we that we installed and we have our installs that we, we kind of go with and kind of hang our hat on and again you know like I said you know we'll we'll, we'll add some wrinkles for teams or uh, or playing against a, a certain player but uh, the base stuff is 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 what we've done and, and what they've been uh, committed to you know as an offense of, of staff you know what I mean as far as like when they brought the offense to us um, you know since day one one of the things was mentioned earlier is you guys threw a lot of screens, but didn't always get that every block. You know, what does do the wide receivers and the tight ends have to do better um, in the screen game to, to block a little bit better? Finish. 
is there a key to that? How do they how do they do that better? Get in front of the person that has the other color jersey, and you stay in between him and the ball, and you run your feet and keep your hands inside, and you just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no. You know, it's not necessarily like a, a secret sauce to it. It's just, you know, it's just a matter of doing it. And, and, and we practice, you know, we do, uh, we have screen periods. We have uh, uh, perimeter blocking drills that we do. I mean, in practice, and it's just a matter of applying certain things from practice over to the game and, and just executing, you know what I mean? And, and it happens at times, you know what I'm saying? Like, not any, not every game is going to be perfect, but, um, you know, we got to just continue to work on little things and details. and. Um, those will help us, uh, you know, be better and, and hopefully help us get wins. Let's do one more. Is there a reason why uh, every defensive back that goes against him hates Taj Washington so much? It seems like because he's a he's a he's a feisty player. He's a you know he plays hard. Um, he gives you everything he has. Um, he's tough. He's he's trying to finish you. The same things we we're just talking about in blocking. Like he is trying to finish. The player that's in front of him, you know what I mean? The way that you would like them to and, and you coach them up to do. Um, he does a great job of doing that. And a lot of times, you know what I mean? Uh, players, you know, defensive players, they don't like to play against dudes like that. You know what I mean? And, and um, so he's like a he's like a gnat, man. You know, he's like, you, you're always trying to get him out the way and, and, and he's there some, you know, some doing something. So he's a, he's a good player and, and he does a lot of great things for us and, and we're happy to have him with us. Thank you, coach.